Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Talia Rene and we're back another day with another video. So today I will be discussing losing 30 pounds do's and don'ts. So your girl has officially gotten to her 30 pound weight loss goal. I have officially lost 30 pounds. It's been a long time coming but never is that nevertheless yes nevertheless we have lost 30 pounds so can i just get up um so anyways let's just go ahead and jump into this video and i'm going to share with you do's and don'ts to losing 30 pounds at the end of the video i will be giving you guys my update of my weight loss journey where i'm at and where i pray to continue to go with my journey and documenting it on my channel so let's start out with the don'ts why not don't go on an unhealthy journey I think this is really important because I feel like a lot of times with weight loss we just feel like there's this one-stop shop you eat a certain way you get the results and that's it but in all actuality that's not the case first of all losing weight is different for everybody number one and two you have to do it in a healthy way. I feel like a lot of times I've heard, if you want to lose weight, just eat salmon, chicken breasts, broccoli, asparagus, and you'll lose weight. Make sure you starve yourself. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. And to me, that screams unhealthy because now you are basically starving yourself and you are developing a very negative relationship with food and over time that's what happened for me don't go on an unhealthy journey journey don't look at all the diets that you can do and just pick your favorite no that's what i did and it's very unhealthy why restrict yourself on foods that you like don't go vegan me self um so pretty much in the beginning of me moving back home so probably like three weeks ago i decided that i wanted to go plant-based to go plant-based to go plant-based don't, don't go vegan if you know you like beef if you know you like chicken if you're not doing it for any other reason but losing weight because the likelihood of you sticking with it is going to be very unlikely do develop a better relationship with food so I feel like this deserves a whole separate video on this but developing a better re relationship with food is so important understand that it's not the food that is making you gain weight it's the fact that you're overeating it's the fact that you're not portion controlling the amount that you're intaking you understand so as long as I'm following falling in line of the amount of calories I'm taking in in a day, if I decide to go to McDonald's, I'll be fine as long as I stay in the amount of calories that I'm supposed to be sticking to. Now, if I go to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A in the same day and go crazy on calories, the likelihood of me gaining weight and doing that consecutively, I'm going to gain weight. Do you understand? So we must you do 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 develop a better relationship with food so in 2021 that's our goal develop a better relationship with food because what we're not going to do is restrict ourselves so much that we out here struggling <laughs> what we're not going to do is be sniffing brownies while you eating a salad that's weird all right we're not doing that all right all right so don't compare yourself to others i have a very bad habit of doing this when it comes to weight loss why is everybody losing weight faster than me okay maybe i'm doing something wrong should i be working out a certain way why am i why do i feel like so out of shape understand that this is a process understand that you did not just wake up and become fit understand that you did not just wake up with all this weight on you so it's going to take some time it's going to be a process so don't compare your process to other another person's process because what you're doing is not what they're doing for all you know they could be restricting themselves completely so let's not compare ourselves to others all right all right be patient with yourself i'm gonna say for the people in the back be patient 
for yourself for yourself excuse me be patient with yourself all right understand like I just said it is a process and I'm talking to myself as well you did not wake up one day and automatically you had 30 pounds on you it happened over time so losing weight is going to be a process it's gonna be over time it's not just gonna happen like that heck losing 20 pounds for myself finally getting to the 30 pound mark took over a year for my, myself do not do this for anyone but yourself I made this mistake in my I actually did a um, video on this about healing from my toxic toxic ex-boyfriend and I kind of I feel like I touched on this a little bit but he treated me very wrong when it came to my weight and I swore up and down during that time that I was not doing it for him but in all actuality I was and look where it got me I gained all the way back because I was losing weight for someone else first of all if you are losing any weight for any relationship go ahead and pack your bags <laughs> Because baby, that's not the relationship for you. All right, we're not staying with anybody that makes us lose weight. Encourages us to lose weight, okay, that's one thing. But makes us lose weight, makes us uncomfortable for losing weight, for gaining weight, no. No, no! No, no! Don't lose weight for anyone but yourself. If you do it for anyone else, it's going to be miserable. If you do lose all the weight, you're probably gonna gain it back. And it's just not a fun process. Like, I lost all that weight and then I gained it back. So, just do it for yourself. When you do it for yourself, it feels 10 times better. Don't beat yourself up. Understand that you are going to have setbacks. Understand that you are gonna mess up sometimes. Understand that this process is not easy I will be transparent honestly today I binged I ate food that I knew I wasn't supposed to I was craving it and I overate I overindulged in it in it and you know in the past if that would happen I would say you know what well who cares um, I ate so bad why are you so stupid why did you eat that way and just continue to binge but no Tomorrow, I'm going to decide to get up, to work out, to continue with eating right and eating healthy and continue out the process. Don't beat yourself up. I feel like we self-sabotage when we beat ourselves up. When we mess up, we fail. I don't want to say fail. We mess up and then we just like, oh, I ate so bad. I, I can't believe I did that. When you make a big deal out of it. I'll add that to don't beat yourself up. Don't make a big deal of it. Like, food is food. It's good. You helped yourself. It was yummy. Okay, now get back on track. Do what works for you. Do what works for you, sis. Just because doing keto worked for somebody, Sa Sally, Lucy, and Mary, doesn't mean it's going to work for you. All right? Just because going vegan worked for Charles, Mark, and Harold, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you all right do what works for you if you know that you like beef and you like chicken fajitas on saturday why are you going vegan again is it just to lose weight okay well there's other substitutions to eating those things and lose weight all right all right <laughs> portion control and finding alternatives is key through this process all right if you restrict yourself completely, this process is not going to be fun. You are either going to restrict yourself for so long that you're going to lose a major amount of weight and then when you start eating those foods again that you're going to get it back because it's so good and you overindulge in it. So this is the last tip. I don't really, I didn't really know where to put it on the chart whether it was a do or a don't. No, I guess it's a do. Do self-reflect on your unhealthy habits. So for me, this is really important and i learned that it was important just because i had to realize what wasn't working for me in the past so if you have tried to lose weight multiple times and you're constantly doing the same thing and you're constantly 
getting the same results of going nowhere, then obviously you're doing something wrong and possibly you need to sit down and self-reflect. I feel like we are always in a rush, moving constantly, that we don't have time to just sit in our own space and just, okay, what am I doing wrong? And write those things down. Write them down. If you did dieting and losing weight a certain way that you restricted yourself completely of foods that you enjoyed, try to lose it, it worked, but you gained it back, obviously that's not working for you. Write those things down. Once you read all that whole list of why it didn't work in the, in the past, okay, now from now on, we're going to move differently. We're going to go about weight loss, this weight loss journey much differently. And that, I feel like that really turned my whole weight loss journey. Once I realized that starving yourself is not going to help the weight loss process, it's actually going to stop the weight loss process. My weight loss process is going to go so much slower because I'm not eating and then when I do eat, I'm gaining weight. Weight is reflecting on the scale. So, you know, that's all I have to do for you today. I feel like I talked to you. So I'm going to insert a picture from when I was still in my college, my college apartments. This was when I finally realized that I gained a bunch of weight <laughs> and it was time to do something about it. So this was the first picture right here. That was right there. So I, again, I did a video in the summertime where I got down to, I want to say 210, I believe, 205 or 210. Um, around Christmas time of this show, of 2020, I did gain nine pounds. So this is February 3rd. The beginning of me like actively trying to lose weight February 3rd you and I'm not too sure of how much I weighed then so this is March 5th my most recent picture um, if I'm not mistaken I believe now I am 196 so in February I was 209 possibly and now I am at 196. So also word of advice, always take progress pictures because you want to be able to compare it. Honestly, when I look in the mirror, I don't see that I lost weight except for in my face. Like, like I told you, that's the first to go and that's the first to notice is in my face. So sometimes you don't really notice that you lost weight, but it's really important to take those pictures and all that other stuff and videos to catch your progress because and the camera be catching things that you don't see honey when you gain in weight and you take pictures and you be looking back like wait a minute where did i gain that weight that's how it is when you lose weight honey you don't see it in the mirror but when you take pictures like oh my gosh and you compare it side to side you can really see the difference but anyways i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching if you have any questions for me feel free to comment down below let me know what you're interested in watching if you want to see workout videos if you want to see some meals um nanny in a day because i'm a nanny now um, if you want to update on my locks because i am locking my hair just a bunch of updates if you just simply want a check-in video of how i'm doing please let me know i literally love you guys so much if you have any prayer requests please leave it down in the comments below you can message me on instagram you can message me on twitter um yeah <laughs> i love you all so much bye